Hey, what's up, everybody? It is uh, April 9th, 2020. We're in Sugarloaf, California right now, but we're gonna, going back to Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake. All masked up. As I said, ready to rob a train, I guess. <laughs> um, pretty interesting. So we're getting snow. I mean, that's why I'm uh, doing this video. It's supposed to pick up again tonight and we could have another six inches on the ground in the morning. So let's see, hopefully that pans out. And then we'll be done for quite some time. <coughs> but don't remember, or don't forget you guys, we can get snow until the end of May. Literally the last day of May. It happened last year and it was a big storm. I got caught in a blizzard up on 2N10 because they had just opened it because they didn't expect that snow that late or at least not that kind of a system. So I kind of did a dumb thing and did everything I told you guys not to do, which is, you know, when you go out somewhere, when it's snowy and dangerous in the wilderness, make sure you let a couple people know at least, typically three people, and then let them know exactly when you're uh, going to be back to contact them. And if they don't hear from you by a certain time to start, um, getting concerned and, and sending search parties and stuff like that. I didn't do any of that. I didn't bring any warm clothes. I didn't have any food or water in the car. And I was a good seven, six miles out in a blizzard um, with just, uh, just nothing. And I was low on gas. Like I was really, really concerned that night. No cell phone service. city man get some snow and it's snowing even more where we live as you guys know you'll see more snow on the sides of the roads the further we go this direction I even heard uh, from our friend Gabriel from this from this channel uh, channel Gabriel Magana that the village is is even shut down right now. So that's that's pretty crazy. If if that's really the case, and that means one less place that we can actually get some food. The Jack in the Box is in the village, and they've they've been open. difference corner wise or uh, you know intersection would be over by Stanfield and right here Stanfield and Bigger Boulevard because when you go around that corner you get a lot more stormage I don't know if it's because of those small hills right next to there that kind of maybe uh, tamper with the systems a bit 
it has to be something like that. See Stanfield cut off right here. The snow is so good over there. Yeah, this is really nice, you guys. I mean, technology is so amazing because we typically wouldn't be able to live in a place like this, at least like uh, without just incredible amounts of work and effort just to stay warm and, and fed during this time of year. So technology is really, geez, like, it's unbelievable, man. We can live in just the craziest parts of this planet in terms of weather and be okay because of the clothing, the technology, um, everything like that. It's, it's pretty amazing. Can't even see snow summit at all today. Not even a glimpse. So it's really coming down. You would be able to see it right there. Right there, you can't see it. <coughs> so it just looks like we're a regular city. No mountains or nothing. It's kind of a different feel. Sometimes when I'm up here because it's so flat in so many areas, it just doesn't feel like I'm up at 7,000 feet. <coughs> snowfall this is accumulating snow and it's supposed to continue like this all night so who knows maybe we could exceed six inches we'll see six more inches anyway you guys peace out I appreciate you guys big time oh and you know what I thought of a good way to get out of a ticket if a cop pulls you over just start coughing like crazy as soon as he walks up to the window <laughs> Like, oh, I think I'll pass today. Have a good one. Anyway, I love you guys. April 9, 2020, Big Bear Lake, California. It is snowing like a champ. <coughs>